Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? I just thought I would come in and check on my lovely good girl. What? Oh, no, don't worry. I don't have handcuffs or rope behind my back. Look, look. Ta-da! It's okay. I thought I would get you a very special surprise because you are my very special girl. I have no ulterior motive or whatsoever. R- what? N- n- no, I. This has absolutely nothing to do with me trying to kidnap you. Yesterday. <sighs> okay, you got me. I'm a horrible liar. It has everything to do with that. He- yes, it's an apology. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, darling. I didn't mean to kidnap you like that. Oh, well, just attempt to kidnap you. Really? Unfortunately. Uh, I just thought, you know, I wanted to spend more time with you. That's all. I barely spend any time with you these days. Only a few hours a day at most. And... Watching you through the camera doesn't count, obviously. Not that I do it. But enough about that. Let's not dwell on the past. Let's dwell on how I can make it up to my good girl. Like with this cake. I call all the top bakeries around and hire them to have a contest. To see who could bake the best cake. And that is how I get this one. So you can just imagine how good it tastes. I really mean it when I said this was a very special surprise for my very special girl. Here you go. Uh, What do you mean you are not hungry? Uh, Oh, I get it. You must want something home cooked, don't you? Well, you are in luck because I happen to have a mobile kitchen part just outside. And recently... I have been taking lessons from a professional chef. I mean, he even won't... No. You, you're really just not hungry? You know what? No. Uh, that's okay. That is okay. That is fine. Maybe I will have to make things up to you. Another way. So, sweetheart, how would my good girl like to come take a ride with me? In my helicopter. I promise I will take you home this time without taking a detour to my private island. It would it would just be so romantic, don't you think? It's just us looking down at all the lights and all the little people who don't matter because you are the only one who matters. Duh. I guess no matter how romantic the view is, I would still just be looking at you. Oh, but don't let me distract you from enjoying the ride. I wouldn't want to bother my good girl. No, not in the mood for a helicopter ride. Oh, well, that's okay. Would a limousine be better? Maybe a boat? No, not in the mood for a ride at all. Uh, okay, well, there must be something I can do for my good girl. Oh, 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 I know. How about we go for a dip in my indoor pool? I actually recently just got some swimwear that I don't look half bad in, if I do say so myself. Hmm? I was particularly juicy, actually. I had to hire all the top fashionistas to pick one out for me. It would be a good opportunity for me to wear it and for you to see me in it. What do you say? Hmm? Not in the mood to swim? You sure? I even recently installed a water slide. Are you sure? Are you really really sure you want to say no to a water slide? Oh, still no? Well, that's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You can take this. Be strong. Be strong for your good girl. <clears throat> mm. Well then. You know, looking at you. 
you really just seem super cuddly. The best body pillow a guy could ever ask for. Which is saying a lot since I already have a few of you. And they are great. So, that got me thinking. What if I got you something super cuddly as a present? Because you know, I actually recently purchased the world's largest teddy bear. Well, the world's largest teddy bear so far. But if a bigger one gets made, I can always just buy that one too. Uh, but that's besides the point. What do you think? How would my good girl like the world's largest teddy bear? Oh, but just don't hug it too much. You know how I can get jealous too, right? N- no? Oh, not in the mood for a teddy bear? Uh, well, at least that saves me the jealousy. But, uh, hmm. Oh, how do you feel about fish? I still have an aquarium in the basement. And I know you don't like going to my basement out of fear that you will never leave. But I promise, I promise, it is just a visit. You can come and go as you please. Pinky promise. But anyway, about my aquarium, it is super big and impressive. It's got a variety of fish. More than you have ever even heard of. More than I've ever even heard of. Well, I don't know about this stuff, but I hire people for that. But it has a ridiculous amount of expensive fees. I said no. I paid for them. I have got some mass angel fees, some peppermint angel fees, some fresh water polka dot stingrays, even a few dragon fees. I bet you didn't even know what any of those are. But if you want, you can come down to my basement and find out. Hmm, how about it? Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. That was kind of sketchy. Hmm, so you are sure you are not hungry? Because you know, I get you that chocolate you really like too. And I don't mean just one chocolate. I bought the entire company actually. I guess that makes sure they don't change the recipe to something my good girl hates after all. You know me, I'm always looking out for you. I'm like your guardian angel. And guardian angels are always watching you, so it's not that creepy when I do it, right? Oh, but, but how about that chocolate? Ah, uh, okay, well, maybe we can just save the chocolate for later then, sweetheart. Mm. Oh, are you tired? Then how about we take this to my bed? Oh, wait. That statement was completely innocent, okay? I promise. It just means that I recently got this new bed complete with a bed set and... Get this? The bed set is made out of seal... Pure seal. And it is real. Real. None of that synthetic fake seal. It's real seal from real seal worms. And it's the high quality tau of seal too. Because you know, even as far as real seal goes, there are different kinds of them. But of course, I only got the best kind for my good girl. Because a high quality good girl like you deserves high quality seal. And it is really high quality. It is super soft. You should feel it sometime. Like right now. Wanna go feel it right now? Sleeping in it feels amazing. Trust me. Almost as amazing as it felt sleeping in your bed at one time. Almost. Oh, uh, also, I'm really sorry about that. I know we talk about boundaries. Oh, but, but, but what do you say? Wanna go take a nap in some super soft seal? Oh, that's alright then. It's a shame, but it's alright. Then in that case, how do you feel about zoo? Is there any animal you like? Lions? Penguins? Bears maybe? Or monkey? I could buy a zoo for you to visit. 
or I could just buy us tickets. I suppose that would be more efficient. Although, to be fair, I don't really feel that comfortable with you visiting a zoo. I know it's probably completely safe and it, it's just my paranoia talking. But part of me would worry. What if the animal escapes and attack you? Oh, but I'm sure it will be fine. Besides, I can always keep you safe. I'm super strong. Stronger than anyone. You know, whenever I get into a fight, I just imagine my opponent is a love rifle. Then my homicidal instincts take care of the rest. Not that I get into fights often though. There is no reason for that. That's why I have a hit. I mean, I have bodyguards. That is why I have bodyguards for. So, fancy to visit a zoo? Uh, yeah, that's fine, I guess. I would rather stay inside anyway. That way, I don't have to worry about all the people outside looking at my good girl. You sure you don't want me to buy some sort of gift though? You know, there is this one company that deals in luxury item. I happen to know their CEO actually. And he was showing me this golden watch that I think you would look absolutely stunning in. Well, you look stunning in anything of course, sweetheart. The company actually had some golden chains that I think you would look even better in. Well, but I think... I guess you don't want those. Besides, I think silver chains really fit your aesthetic better anyway. But I assume you are wary about me putting you in chains just in general? Regardless of the type? Which is very fair. Oh, oh, I know. If you don't want to watch, then I don't necessarily have to spoil you with expensive stuff. I could just do it the old-fashioned way. With cuddling. Would you like that, sweetheart? Would you like some cuddling? The simple and cheap way? It doesn't cost anything. Well, other than my attention, of course. Which I always love to give you. And you know, this does give us an excuse to use the pet. You know, the new one with high quality cell for my high quality good girl. The one I bought, especially to make you happy. Uh huh, that's the one. So, what do you say, sweetheart? I'm really sorry about the whole thing trying to kidnap you, okay? So, do you think I could make it up to you with some cuddling? Huh? You want? That's my good girl. I knew it. You really are a sucker for cuddling, aren't you? Ugh, I am too.